Hello, you are now watching a teaching video on the applications of integration, especially in kinematics. First, we are going to look at the relationship of displacement, velocity, and acceleration. In the last section about differentiation, we have learned that when a particle moves in a straight line, where the displacement from a fixed point O on the line is S, we can obtain the velocity and also the acceleration by differentiation. For instance, when you have the equation of S, for you to get velocity equation, all you need to do is differentiate the equation of S with respect to time. You will get velocity. Continue differentiation. Okay, When you differentiate equation of the velocity with respect to time, you will be able to get acceleration. In another words, if you are given the displacement equation, you will be able to get the equation for acceleration by going through the second derivative. Hence, we can say that acceleration can be written as differentiate square equation of S with respect to T squared. Next, let's look at integration. Conversely, if a particle moves in a straight line where the acceleration is given by A, okay, we will be able to get the equation of velocity by integration of the acceleration with respect to T. Continue with that. If you are given velocity equation, okay, for you to get the displacement, all you need to do is integration of the velocity with respect to time. Bear in mind that you are actually doing an indefinite integration. Hence, you will be getting what we call it as arbitrary constant. So, in many cases, okay, there will be information given to you. Okay, Most of the time, it will be when t is equivalent to 0 seconds, okay, s is equivalent to 0 meter, okay, or any other information which will help you in getting the arbitrary constant, which is c. In kinematics, you will solve problems that involve both differentiation and integration. So this diagram will help you to remember when to do differentiation and when to integrate. So if you are given displacement, okay, all you need to do is differentiate displacement equation over time, you will be able to get velocity. When you are asked to look for acceleration, you either differentiate the equation of the velocity or do the second derivative of the displacement. In reverse, when you are given acceleration equation and asked to find velocity, you have to integrate. So to get displacement equation, you have to integrate the velocity equation. So do remember this cycle for you to solve kinematics question. We will now look at an example. A particle moving in a straight line passes a fixed point O with the velocity of 8 meter per second. Its acceleration A is given when t seconds after passing through O 
find an equation of a equals to 2t plus 1. Hence, now question asks you to look for the velocity of the, um, of the equation when t is equal to 3. So, from the previous part, we have mentioned to get the equation of velocity, what you need to do is integration of acceleration with respect to time. Hence, you will be doing integration of 2t plus 1 with respect to t. So, the integral for this will be 2t squared over 2 plus with t. Okay, so simplify and you will be able to get t squared plus t and not forgetting your c. So this is your equation of the velocity. Using the information given by the questions, when the question says that the line passes through fixed point O with the velocity of 8 meter per second, which means that when t is equivalent to 0 seconds, velocity is equal to 8 meter per second. Putting all the information in this velocity equation, you will be able to get the arbitrary constant as 8. Hence, the velocity will be equal to t squared plus t plus v8. Now, find the velocity when t is equal to 3. Substituting the value of 3 in the position of t plus 8, you will be able to get your answer as equals to 20. Alright. We have solved part A. Now let's move on to part B. For question part B, you are required to find the displacement from O when T is equal to 3. So, from the previous equation, we have got the information where velocity is equal to T squared plus T plus 8. For you to get the displacement equation, what you need to do is integration of velocity with respect to time. Hence, we will be integrating T squared plus T plus 8 with respect to time. Find the integral of the velocity where you will be getting t to the power of 3 over 3 plus t squared over 2 plus 8t plus c. Again, using the information from the questions, when t is equivalent to 0, s will be equal to 0. So, with this information, we will get the arbitrary constant as 0. Hence, answer for displacement, equation for displacement will be t cube over 3 plus with t square over 2 plus with 8t. So now, since the question is asking, what will happen to the displacement when t is equal to 3, where you already obtained the displacement equation? All you need to do is proceed with substitution when t is equal to 3, s will be equal to 3 to the power of 3 over 3, plus with 3 to the power of 2 over 2, plus with 8 times with 3. Putting all the values in your calculator, you will be able to get your displacement as equals to 37.5 meter. Hence, the displacement when t is equals to 3 
will be 37.5 meter. Do remember to leave your answer in three significant figures. We have come to an end of the teaching video. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe to our channel for more interesting teaching videos.